Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I released the first update after the official release of iOS 26, iOS 26.0.1 that I have here on my 17 Pro Max to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and the build number as usual. Here on my 17 Pro Max, the update size is 989.9 megabytes. And here you can see the bug fixes, which we're gonna talk about later. And when it comes to the build number, I have it here, 23A355. And you can also check the bug fixes in this page if you want. This update is mainly for bug fixes, but I was able to spot some minor tweaks here and there that are worth mentioning. The first one is under Apple Photos. Now when I go to search, you will see that I no longer have the clear and expand buttons. And for reference, here is how it looks on my 16 Pro Max. As you see under the same exact section, I have the ability to clear my history and also expand this section if I want which is no longer the case. Another change I spotted is under settings and then action button. Now you will see a redesigned action button in the animation, plus it reflects the iPhone 17 design. As you see here, you can see the camera uh, plateau at the back of the phone. So let me show you how they look side by side. You will see that the newer button is narrower than the previous version and taller, even though Physically, the buttons are exactly the same on both models, no difference, but you will see that now the button is narrower and taller than the previous version. Now it's time to talk about the bug fixes Apple mentioned in the release notes, and if you want to check them yourself, head over to settings, general, and then software update, and before updating the phone, you will see the bug fixes included. So let's go through them one by one. First, we have a fix for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth may occasionally disconnect on the iPhone 17, Air and the Pro models. A small number of iPhone users may be unable to connect to a cellular network after updating to iOS 26, and I've seen this one a lot on Reddit. So hopefully this update fixes the issue. Then we have a problem with the photos taken under certain lighting conditions with the iPhone 17 models may include unexpected artifacts. Then we have the app icons may appear blank after adding a custom tint. And I did experience this issue myself. So let me explain what happens. Sometimes when you go to the customize panel and then switch between tinted, clear, or, or play around with the colors, sometimes the app icons disappear and you can only see blank squares. Previously, I used to restart my iPhone to fix this problem but it should be now fixed with this update. And the last fix we have is the voiceover may become disabled for some users after updating to iOS 26, and that's pretty much it. Beside the fixes, I spotted a bug in iOS 26, and it's not only in this build, but I also found it in the previous version. When you go to the edit wallpaper screen and then apply the blur effect, then get back to your home screen, then remove the blur effect later, and then hit done. It mutes the wallpaper colors as you see here. It looks very washed out. But once you change the wallpaper to something else, so let's say I want to pick this one, and then return back to the previous wallpaper, and then go to your home screen, it's back again to normal. On a side note, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video, they are now available for download on my Patreon page. And as you see, most of them work with the depth effect. Plus, you can also activate the spatial scene feature, which will make your wallpaper look even better, like in this case. So you'll find the download link in the description. And now let's get back to iOS 26.0.1. So what about my experience with the performance and thermals after installing this build? I can tell that it's certainly better than the previous version for one reason, because the phone no longer gets warm when I keep expanding the control center and the notification center. Also, when I keep changing the wallpaper, previously the phone used to get warm, but it's no longer the case after installing this update. And it will also get better over time because I just installed it today. So maybe things will improve even further with more time and further updates from Apple. Last but not least, let me show you the Geekbench scores. I got pretty much the same numbers after installing this update. 
So here I have 3,748 for the single core and 9,708 for the multi-core, which is pretty much the same as the previous version, maybe slightly worse, but this is expected because the build is just installed on the device. Maybe the device is optimizing some stuff in the background, but don't expect any major performance upgrades. It's only about bug fixes in this build. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new changes I wanted to show you on iOS 26.0.1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.